All right, this is Chris recording for Magic Gathering Strat. We're made it, we've made it to round two. Uh, as I explained before, I do want to be um, on the play with this deck, and I'm not gonna mulligan this hand. We're gonna use the Lady Lancer to out a mountain, and hopefully, pretty handily beat down the opponent. Kind of sucks that uh, Goblin Shortcutter is the two drop, but sometimes you just need a Goblin Piker. Which is what this guy does. So yeah, lay the land, searching out a mountain. In the process, thin thinning the deck a little bit. Hmm. We are going to play the short cutter. Yeah, you lose a little bit of value by playing him this early, but eh. Hopefully you can get in for a few points of damage. Or not. <laughs> okay, that was pretty much the worst thing my opponent could have played for me. So, well, no attacks here. That guy stonewalls me pretty hard. Um, yeah, we're gonna play the Mulhorn here for sure. Oh, I was about to say, don't essence scatter me. That would be abysmally bad for me. Alright, sweet, no blocks. Oh man, this this turn's going to be brutal for him. So we're going to go with the Goblin Short Cutter. We're going to targeting his Seacoast Drake. And then a Blur Sliver and hit him for 9. I'll hit him for four. It's something. Not as good as nine, but... Ugh. And it just gets worse and worse for me, doesn't it? Uh, well, there's not too much I can do against that, so... I'll just pass the turn. Pitchburn Devils is going to hit me for a while, for sure. Uh, well, at least I can throw a root wall in its way, maybe. Yeah. Okay, well, at least root wall uh, holds down the fort a little bit, possibly, unless he kills it. That might have to get outraged. His blockers just chumping mine is really starting to annoy me. Or just trumping mine, I should say. Yeah, we're going to throw all along the way there. Yep. All right, well, I suppose there's not much I can do about that, and I keep drawing lands. 
This is why I used to lay the land, dude. Uh, Jeez, and I just got nothing here. Alright. Well. I just have to accept my beatings. In hopes that I draw a big thing. He's got four cards in here. He's got to have just a million answers. Possibly even like an act of treason. I'm just going to use this now. Yeah, two for one myself, but... It's going to have to ha It's going to have to happen eventually anyway. Trading post? Ugh. Of course I would do that, like the turn I draw the stupid Megantic Sliver. <coughs> Alright, well, it's something. And he gets to just block it for ages with this goat tokens. <laughs> it's so annoying. I should have waited on the Chandra's Outrage. Should have waited. I'm going to attack here. I don't really have options, otherwise I'm just going to tempo it out. All these dudes have flying anyway, so yeah, he's just going to chump it with trading post. Not sure why he didn't attack last turn. It was really weird. super defensive. What four cards do you have in his hand that are just going to wreck me? I'm thinking at least one of them's got to be an act of treason. Ugh. Another one of those guys? Jesus. I guess on the plus side I have a uh, what is this? Ten, seven more? So I have a two out of three chance of drawing not land. So that's good. Oh, and his Pitchburn Devils get flying too. Yep. Okay. Got it. Alright, well, at least I can do something. Something is not very effective right now, but it's something. I don't know. If I was him, I'd be activating that trading post to save my life here. Yeah, we're just blocking. <coughs> 
What am I blocking? Nothing. He's not attacking. See, so I think I was going to block the condor anyway. Just so we can't give his pitch burns flying and deal me metric tons of damage. All right, cool. Blur sliver. Sort of what I was hoping to draw. Although it doesn't actually do much for me anymore. I get chumped by a goat. Or maybe the pitch burn devils here. Nah, just goat. Is this the act of treason turn? Haunted plate mail. Well, I can't beat that. That's for sure. Alrighty. So, um... Short cutters are awful against him. Those are going to be the first thing to come out for sure. Um, plummet's good. Windstorm's good. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm less worried about the natural eyes, but yeah, I'm going to play first again. Alright, this hand's sweet. Advocate into Marauding Mulhorn is pretty good, I think. So as long as I hit the land drops, I should be able to win this game. I believe the Chandra's Outrage really kind of blew out my plan last game, though. Mr. Recluse, play Mr. Advocate, and go. Mulhorn more important than I don't know. I kind of don't want to get counterspelled here, but I think I'm going to run out the Minotaur first. Three power should be enough to put some adequate pressure on him. If he has the Essence Scatter or the Cancel, I want him to use it on the Minotaur. Okay. I suppose I read that right. Activate that whenever, right? Yeah, that's gonna be. Uh, it's so hard to beat. Do my damnedest though with a ever growing marauding mall horn, hopefully. And a gigantic sliver. Alright, so. We're gonna attack with the recluse. Because it's free damage. Uh, do I play the Mulhorn here? 
If I play the Mawhorn, he's going to get eaten by the plate mail, or... No, nah, I'm just going to... If I play the Construct and draw a land, though, then I play the Megantic Sliver, and he's going to be in a world of hurt. But the Megantic Sliver is going to be in, make him a world of hurt anyway. All right, now I'm going to play the Maul, the Mawhorn. Start ticking up counters on it. But trade a Mulhorn for a haunted plate mail. I'm okay with that. I should have brought in the naturalize. I saw the haunted plate mail and I forgot to bring in the naturalize. That's really bad of me. the future. Discarding a Chandra's Outrage and Archaeomancer? Jeez, what did you get? Or did he just need to hit a land drop? I think maybe he just needed to hit a land drop there. Alright, so I drew the mountain, but... Um, I don't think I'm attacking with the Mallhorn, and I don't think I'm playing Megantic into an Essence Scatter. So I think I'm just going to play the Sliver Construct. Uh, let the Mallhorn tick up on counters. Up to a 7-5 at least before I attack. Okay, there's a shock. And we'll play the Sliver Construct now. Oh, I should have played the Megantic Sliver. Wow. So bad. It's okay. Okay, so he now has a chumper, but I can now play my gigantic sliver safely that I should have played last turn. <laughs> yeah. If we make it to game three, I'm totally bringing naturalize. Eyes. 
I played two blur slivers though. Bash him for lethal. Yes, sir. So naturalize for the stupid haunted plate mail and claustrophobia and trading post. Naturalize. Done. Um, over. Shock doesn't see no shock's pretty good because he's got the two one flyers and whatnot. Probably lay of the land, to be honest. Alrighty. Let's see what we can do with this. He chose to play last again. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, no, no mulligan with this. Pretty similar starting hand here. Uh, although we don't have a two drop again we have the advocate and the rumbling bailoth to make use of the advocate and hey there's the deadly recluse if I don't draw land here I think I'm actually play the root wall though on the off chance that uh, I miss the third land drop then I can still, or I, I miss the fourth land drop then I can still use the root wall as a threat of activation type thing. Whereas Advocate has no threat of the app threat of activation. Please don't escort scatter me. Okay, good. Eh, that's something. That's not the worst th if these early stages in the game. Missing land drops in these early stages of the game though is the worst. Cancel? Yeah. Kind of expected that. back. That's not that annoying. Alright, good. There's the land drop. Uh, now it's between Marauding Mallhorn or Rumbling Bayloth. Um, this would be the Marauding Mallhorn, probably. It's going to deal more damage. Hopefully he doesn't have a pitch burn devils and then I'll just eat my own words. Oh but if he does have a pitch burn devils, then I Okay. He had the pitch burn devils. <laughs> uh, could he get any worse for me? I'll just play the advocate of the beast, I suppose. Yeah, play the advocate, leave up shock. Uh, start pumping my maul horn.
I can play a Rumbling Baloth or a Spore Mound. Mound, I think, is going to give me more potential for Alpha Strikes later if I play it now. So I think we're just going to go with that because I'm just going to pump this Mallhorn anyway. I'm not going to attack with anything. It's not that scary. Play a blur sliver. Yeah, play a blur sliver and just leave up shock again. Not gonna attack with the blur sliver. Well, I could, like, no. That would be a three for one on myself if I tried to attack through the pitch burn devils. Nope, we're just gonna pass. At some point he's going to like time up my marauding wall horn, which will be really, really annoying. <laughs> uh you can never attack until my wall horn's like, what is it? It needs to be a X twelve now for me to attack and have him live. Devils. But he's just going to keep ticking up to counters. Sure. Yep, there's the time up that I was expecting. Um, well, not the worst. <laughs> I'm going to have to wait a long time to do anything else now. Oh, he has the cancel too. Well, I don't care if he cancels it now. I've got the bail off. We're just going to shock the Condor now. I don't think I'm going to get much more value out of the shock than right there.
you know, I'm not sure that he can actually kill me. Hey, there's something. This should break this pesky board st Oh, wait, he's got to cancel. Crap. <laughs> oh, man. Really glad I remembered that he had to cancel. I got to get him to use it. Somehow, I don't know what the heck I can do to get him to use it so that I can play a Shivan Dragon, though. Or at some point, tap out. Seems unlikely. Why do you have to get a cancel back instead of like a disperse? Yep, more draggies. Sure. Sure, sure. Yeah, predatory silver's not bad. Hey, this could probably get a cancel out of him. I think. Alrighty. So we got rid of the cancel. Good. Bayloth is almost big enough to attack through double pitch burn devils. Oof, trading post is annoying though. So we can hunt the weak on the Advocate of the Beast, targeting something. But I don't think I need to. I think I'm just going to play the Shivan Dragon. Hope it doesn't get cancelled. Hope he doesn't have the second cancel there. That would be oof. Alright, so I have a win con. Outside of time. If they start putting goats on them. Oh, no. Sacrifice to artifact to draw a card. 
He gets to sacrifice a creature, return target artifact. So he gets to do like creature sacrifice shenanigans with <coughs> to get his clever, silver construct back and draw lots of cards. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, okay. So let's bash with Shiv and Dragon. Blocks with Seacoast Drake, I imagine. Yep. I could Windstorm here or do any other number of things that would uh, make this faster, but I'm not in really in any rush to. I don't know what else he could have that could like trump my Shivan Dragon, but I want to be able to have an answer with Windstorm. And killing him faster doesn't really do much. Chandra's outrage on my ship and dragon. Hmm. Well, that does it. <laughs> Coast Drake and a shiver and a Chandra's outrage. Well played, good sir. Well played. I assume he kills the Advocate of the Beast here. He kills S Spore Mound. That's strange. I guess next turn he can kill Advocate of the Beast. You know, I'm just going to attack with the Rumbling Bail off and see what happens. Probably just gets chumped. But I was kind of waiting on the other pitch burn to die anyway before I started to attack with him. And I'll just play a Root Wall on. And now I'm going to start throwing counters on the Marauding Mallhorn. Get him up to 7 toughness before I can attack with him. Plate mail doesn't really do much at this stage in the game. I would like to draw my natural eye so I can kill this trading post and get rid of the annoying shenanigans there. And I 
I can't actually just kill that thing with uh, 5, 8, 11, 12. I think I'm going to make him have something here. And then even if he has something that gets it out of his hand and I get to bash with Baloth, I still get to throw counters on the Marauding Mulhorn. Okay, jumped. Sort of what I thought pretty good. He gets to sack a creature and return the silver construct. Oh wow, he just has blockers for forever with that combo, doesn't he? He has enough mana? Am I, re am I interpreting that right? I don't know. Yeah, we're just gonna wait. Uh, there's no rush. He's much lower on his time clock than I am too, so... The onus is on him to somehow kill me. I'm going to remove auto yield, so. I'd like to F6, but I think if he attacks with the Seacoast Drake, I'm going to windstorm for 7. Yes, there's the elixir. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to windstorm now. Four x equals seven. Pitch burn devils now, for sure. for my advocate, but I have a Chandra's Outrage to get rid of his Sliver Construct. I should have attacked first, that way he couldn't use the haunted plate mail. Yeah. You can use elixir to gain five life. He's gonna sack this and get an artifact back from his graveyard or something. 
No, draw a card. Okay, so he has 17 life. He's 22 life, effectively. If I bash with 15, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 30, 34. Bash for 34, so he has to block the rumbling Baloth with his haunted plate mail. And I don't really run li risk losing anything. If he doesn't block the rumbling Baloth, he dies. Assuming all my, all my clicks go through. Two, but oh, down to two. I mismathed. Oh well. Oh yeah, no, I didn't. I counted on him blocking the bail off so he wouldn't die, or so that he would die. <coughs> I don't think there's anything he can have here that saves him. Three. 